Welcome gamers, this is Windermute here. So this is the Zol Zolarg map, which is kind of like the bug race. Uh, it's still being worked on, it's under active de development, so it's not quite finished yet, but but you start off with, um, you start off with ore on the map, these nodes here, uh, gold, aluminum, no uranium, and some trees, and these other lighter green ones are sugarcane. So initially you want to uh, get your first drone, worker drone, harvesting. And they mainly harvest sugarcane. I think they do about 10 per trip. And once you have a few sugarcane going, you can build some more. They use food to build, uh, to build these three types of insects or bugs or whatever, whatever you want to call them. Now, this race is very different than the on the human maps. Uh, one of the main differences is that you start off with a cap of 200 colonists, and they just they come in very quickly. You don't have to build landing pads or anything; they just come in. So you've got colonists, which are flooding in, and then you've got workers, which are kind of like vehicles. I mean, I think behind the scenes they're treated as vehicles. So they don't actually consume foods. I mean, they they cost food to make, but they don't themselves consume food. So you can make as many as you want, um, and I find you have to make a ton of of these worker drones to kind of be efficient and you know harvest all the sugar cane because it takes a while each sugar cane I think has 600 to start and they're only doing 10 at a time so it's very very slow and you want to eventually you know harvest all the sugar cane one other thing to note is that you want to only just have one mound to start with until you've completely filled it up which will happen quite quickly and the reason you don't want to, you don't want to build too many is that you got to have the food kind of st structure set up, the food coming in at a good enough rate to support those 200 people colonists, plus have a buffer for when you expand, because when you build your second mound, the population will shoot up to 400 really quickly. So build a few more drones here, get them harvesting. There's another type of drone called the water bug. And they harvest water, as you would think. And they can go back and forth between a pool, but later on you can have a water collection point right near these ponds. They have a ton of water, and there's quite a few on the map. So you won't really need um, the building that create, creates water for quite some time. You also want to build everything kind of close to this, this mound so that commute times are really short unless unless they don't require workers some some buildings don't need workers and those can go kind of farther off so you'll see we're already at 31 colonists um, not workers but colonists so that's going up quickly uh, we can also build a ore bug which will harvest these ore bodies now another kind of special thing about this map there's only so many ore bodies ore deposits and once they're used up you're kind of um, I mean that's it until you start building a, a certain kind of building later on that produces ore and it produces it really slowly so you want to conserve you want to save probably about 10,000 ore until you can start building those those buildings that generate ore or you'll get into a situation where you're out of ore and you can't build the thing that lets you get more ore and it's basically you know you're stuck it's kind of like game over so let's get this ore, ore bug harvesting. Ore is used for a lot of a lot of buildings, so you you just you just have to be conservative about what you spend your ore on. Now on PC, you can build hundreds of these drones. And the performance doesn't, you know, kind of slow down. Uh, I'm not sure what it's like on on mobile. So now that we have a little bit of ore, we can see that it's unlocked feasting area, which is it's like it stores food, but it also converts sugar cane, which is what all these guys are getting, and converts it into food, which is what you actually need to feed your colonists. So we'll build one of those soon, and then the communal water vat stores water and also um, 
I think it's an entertainment kind of point as well. Same with the feasting area. And then you've got the paste tank, which is uh, mixes water and sugar and turns into paste, which is used in roads and other things later on. So let's build um, a bunch more workers. Actually, we're out of, we're kind of running out of food already. So we need to build a feasting area, but we need some ore for that. So let's, yeah, we got some food problems already. You have to be really quick off the draw because, see, we're out of food already and we've already got 55 colonists, hungry mouths, you know, eating all our food. So maybe I should have built a few more ore bugs early on. But eventually we'll have enough to build a feasting area. Need 300 ore, which is what we need to con start con converting some of the sugar cane into food. Yeah, I probably should have built some. I mean, it's still under active development, so there's this kind of these kind of gotchas in a way. So as you'll see, kind of when I skip forward ahead here, you want to build lots of these um, drones because you're going to need a lot of sugar cane to convert into food. I guess I probably, instead of talking, I probably should have just uh, kind of quickly built out a few more ore bugs right away because now we're kind of stuck waiting for this one drone to get to ore. Okay, now we can build a feasting area. Place it really close to the mound here. And you need you need at least one drone free to be able to build the building. This will increase our storage capacity for food and sugar, I think. So it goes from 200 and 200 to 600 and 600. And it starts generating food for us, which is nice. But because we have colonists coming in so fast and consuming our food, it's not its not really going up very fast. We we'll want to build another one of these really, really quickly once we can. So I've skipped ahead here and I've built more, more of these uh, feasting areas uh, the water vat which collects water and some paste tanks. Here's the water vat. So I put the water bugs really close to um, the pond so that they don't have to move at all to harvest so they can get the water here and dump it in. Dump it in there. And I could research sugar cultivation right now but I'm not going to because there's tons of sugar cane on the map already. You'll see I have tons and tons of drones. It's going crazy. And I built a gold burrow and a sugar burner. The gold burner uh, lets you build gold bugs which collect gold. And the sugar burner generates electricity. So I just built a few more paste tanks here. So you can see under the stats, um, approval rating is decent, vacancies are zero, so population filled up really quickly. And you can kind of see how our food is flowing in and how our, what the balance of food is between colonists eating and, and same with water, how much we're making and how much we're it's how much is being consumed and how much paste we're making how much ore is coming in and gold here we are quite a bit further along I made elders mounds which generate uh, civics. 
specifics are needed for unlocking other things later. And we need to build a mining operation um, which generates ore. We've consumed all the ore on the map. Oh, you can see my little army of army of drones here. Surprisingly, they don't uh, they don't harvest the closest sugarcane. I'm not sure if that's a bug or not. I think it used to, but now it seems to just harvest at random. It goes all over the map. Build some more paste paths. This will you know speed it up when they when they go to get the sugarcane from at a longer distance. You can also build a sugar farm, uh, but I'm not going to bother doing that yet because it costs a lot of ore and we need our ore. Same with healing pods, don't really need them yet. Did build a few gentle bugs club, which is, provides entertainment. And the money pit, which generates money and civics. We'll build, a, we'll build one of those later. And we're, we're mining ore and turning it into Antium, which is another resource used in building kind of later stage buildings. Uh, but we really need to build a lot of these mining operations while we have ore. Because um, they, they require Antium, and Antium is made from ore. So we kind of we're in a rush to build enough mining operations to become kind of ore positive. So we'll probably need about five or six of them before we're, we have kind of positive generation of ore going on. They're pretty slow to, they, they don't produce ore very quickly, so we're, it's going to take a while to, and we're going to need a lot of them, I guess, is what I'm saying. And it takes a while to generate the 250 civics needed to build each one of these. So I'll probably s speed ahead and kind of show you what got built out. Also built a few um, brew pits which make uh, alcohol, rum, out of food and water. You can see how slow, and so this, it only generated six ore, the mining operation. It also generates gold, which is nice. It's kind of a hybrid building. But it's really slow. Notice I built a few more mounds as well. Uh, actually, I think just one. Because I wanted to make sure I had tons of sugar cane coming in. Tons of food coming in. So I've skipped ahead here. I built more um, mining operations, more elder mounds for civic research. Kind of see our ores. We got more ore coming in than being consumed by the Antium smelter, which is good. So we're not as under as much pressure. But we want to build even more of the mining operations so that we can build up a big surplus of ore. You can see these drones going crazy here. They pick one sugar cane at a time, devour it like locusts, and then move on to the next one. So now I have three mounds, which is 600 colonists, 600 hungry colonists that consume your food pretty quickly. Also have a uh, a mint-like building that turns gold into cash. Just showing the communal communal water vat. You want to build them flush with these water ponds because they'll. Um, then they can harvest water without even having to move. I'm gonna move one over there so it's didn't want all of them, but once these ponds have been uh, all used up, we're gonna need even before they're used up, we want to build a few or quite a few of these wet mounds which just generate water. Um, they take some power, I think. 
but we want to do it before the ponds are all exhausted because then we'll have a huge like drain on water and we won't have any more generation so so I've uh, skipped ahead again and just gonna show you kind of now that now it may we have way more ore coming in because we built more of the mining operations which is good kind of a positive net ore production. So now we don't have to worry as much about the ore. And built some more brew pits which produce rum. And we built more uh, antium smelters which turn ore into antium. You can see our ore balance now. So the smelters are consuming 50 but we're producing 156, so at least our ore is going up now. You can see there's not much uh, sugarcane left on the map. The drones are kind of consuming it quite well. And there's no more research, uh, as far as I know. It's still in development. We also uh, can build sugar farms, uh, the export cannon and money pits, which I'll build pretty soon. Actually, I've already built some sugar farms. One down here. So you don't require drones to get the sugar anymore. They just automatically produce sugar. I think about 10, yeah, 10 per cycle. And we've got some, way more of these mining operations. We built this funky statue. Doesn't really do anything, but it looks cool. Big gold bug. And more entertainment buildings. And you can see our workers, our drones are finally like using the closest sugarcane. I'm not sure how long that'll last, but and this food fortification building generates more food at a faster rate than the standard uh, uh, feasting areas. And then the money pit generates civics and cash as well. The export cannon is kind of like the mass driver. It lets you export and sell things. So, good way to raise money. And that's pretty much it for this um, this race, this map. I mean, we could build up from here, but there's no more new research. And so we're going to wait for the next kind of release to come out for new features and stuff. Yeah, eventually we'll want to build more wa wet mounds because these water ponds will get exhausted. But uh, this is it for this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it. And if you'd like to be you know, alerted on new videos that I produce, please subscribe. Uh, I usually do one of these you know, every day or so. And uh, thanks for watching.